Mum, it's just the coffee. Come on, it's nothing serious. Well, he's a friend of Kerry's from work. No, I don't know what his income is. No, I'm not going to ask him. <laughs> yeah, look, I think that's him, okay? So, yeah, I'm gonna call you later. Love to dance. Bye. Hi. Hi. Uh, David? Katie. Yeah, <laughs> nice, <laughs> nice to see you again. I know it's been a hard year for both of us, but you've been there for me. And I love you more than anyone has ever had the capacity to love another person. I, I can't imagine my life without you. Will you be my wife? Yes. Oh yes, David. A thousand times, yes. I can't believe it took you this long to ask me. Shut up! I'm nervous enough as it is. No wonder you're nervous dressed like that. Like you're one to talk. Hey, these are my best clothes. I make them look cool. You've been wearing them for a year now. Well, happy anniversary! Seriously, Stephen. How do I look? Like a million dollars. Well, £621,801.20. Thanks. Do you think she'll say yeah? Of course. Who would say no to my wee brother? Michelle Barton. You are six. Aye. She was more interested in you. I had a Game Boy. All the girls were interested in me. Well, there's no risk of that this time. Is that because everybody's playing the Xbox now? <laughs> no, it's because you're dead. Remember? Yeah. You're gonna be late. Your wallet's in your room. Cheers. That's what I'm here for. I guess. It's fine. Thank you. I will give you a few moments. Do you know what you're having? Yep. My favourite. Yep, yeah, yep, yeah, good, good choice. Oh my god. They're brilliant. <clears throat> Thank you so much. <laughs> Where's my present? I can't give it to you. What? Okay, as long as it's not another one of those sex coupons, because my parents were not happy when I opened that on Christmas. No, I, I, I learned from that mistake. Good. <laughs> Have 
you done it yet? When are you going to ask her? Did you say something? Hmm? Uh, oh, uh... I think I've got something on my floor. Oh, is there some water? Thank you. Look, come on, it's perfect. It's a romantic setting. Lots of people, nice music. How can you top us? I've got a plan. You've got a plan? Uh, no. I, I said, man, I, I love this pasta. <laughs> okay. Well, I'm glad you're enjoying your food. do it, then I will take the ring out of your pocket and I will go stick in right in front of her face. <gasps> oh my god! I David! Am, I am so, so sorry. Oh, it soaks! <sighs> Excuse me, monsieur. Is everything okay with your lady friend? Uh, yeah, she just had a small accident. Ah, yes, I saw that. I can tell you are very nervous about tonight. Comfortable with us? Sir, just relax. This lady, she's very special to you, yes? No need to answer, I already know this, yes? And you are very special to her. This I could see in her eyes when you walk through the door. Where are you, where are you going with us? No matter what happens, you are in love and everything will be okay. Believe in yourself. Believe in love. What are you trying to do to me, man? I'm just trying to help you, man. Look, I don't need your help. I've got one. What is this grand master plan? Then? We finish dinner here, and then we get a taxi down to the Riverside Museum. Ah, then on to the tall ship, which will remind her of our grandparents' exotic romance. Then we fly out to the sky. I'll get down on one knee. You'll go down on one knee. <laughs> No, I said, I'm allergic to bees. I thought you were only allergic to cheese. Oh yes, it gives them a shit really bad. <laughs> what? She can't hear me. What is wrong with you tonight? Nothing. I'm just tired, I'm sorry. Can we just go home? Yeah, yeah, okay, sure. I'll get the bill. Well, that was a close one. I don't get the shit. Just because I'm dead doesn't mean to say I kind of smell it when you get the old liquid lava. What are we doing here? Well, I thought we could go on a quick trip down the Clyde. <laughs> okay, consider me intrigued, Mr. McDonald. I'll go and sort it out. Okay. Hi. Can I help you, sir? I uh, always wondering if you could let me and my girlfriend go to the, the boat for a wee bit. Why do you want the boat? Well, I was planning on proposing to her. I think she loves a ship. And we're fireworks and that. And I can give you a tenner. Just let me 20 quid and I'll think about it. Well, I said that if he listened for ten minutes, then he'd give him a quick hand job. Oh, the usual agreement then. Yeah. <laughs> what it was like to serve on the tall ships. Come on mate, now's your chance. Tell the story of our grandparents. Get her in the mood for love.
I can. Of course you can. Come on. She's a woman of your dreams. You know that. She knows that. No one else is going to marry you. I will ghost myself into your body and I'll ask her for you. It's up to you. Something's not... Stop, wait. You can do that. You see it on TV. Just, just give me a minute. Just do it, do it. Do it now. I'm right here supporting you all the way like I've always done. Just give me a minute. Give me a minute for what? I... I wasn't talking to you. Who are you talking to? Don't do it. She'll think you're crazy. <laughs> Maybe I am crazy. What are you talking about? What's that in your hand? Tell her, David. It's a ring for you. You were going to propose to me tonight. <laughs> <laughs> Is that a bit too cliche? A bit inappropriate, David. It's our anniversary. Yeah, it's your anniversary, Katie. Don't be too harsh on a guy. All right, it's not the most original. It's also the anniversary of Stephen's death. What? what? It was a year ago today. I came to pick you up after your first date. You told me not to worry. Have a few drinks. You'd look after me. That's not some of your best driving, Stevie. Stevie! Come on, come on, Stevie. Stop messing about, man, come on! Come on, wake up! Come on, Stephen! Stephen! I'm sorry, David. He, uh, he didn't make it. What? <sighs> there was... There was just too much damage to his brain. I mean, we tried everything we could, but in the end, we, we just couldn't get him back. <laughs> but he's my brother. Very, very sorry. I'll give you a moment. But, uh, we'll need to discuss organ donation with you. Doesn't feel like a year. It's because you never left. There's no one there, sweetie. I'm sorry. Yes. He's right there. And I knew from that moment when we first touched hands that I was going to spend the rest of my life with this woman. So everyone, um, please raise your glasses to my wife, Mrs. Katie MacDonald. So, what do you think? Thank you.
I could let you miss my big day, man. I know you there today, man. Like I'd miss my wee brother's wedding. Could have at least worn something smarter. You don't have top shop in heaven, Davy. Are you here? Am I going crazy? I'll always be here for you. David! Where are you? I'm over here. Well, hurry up, what are you doing? Your nan doesn't know what car she's getting in. I'm coming. Mrs. McDonald. Thank you, Mr. McDonald. She'll look after you now. You better take good care of her. I will. What about you, man? Always be with you. You know that. <laughs> I swear, man, if we weren't brothers, that was a bit too gay. <laughs> There's nothing wrong with that. Go. She needs you. I love you. I love you too. Now go. Before I go stand here and take your new wife home, eh? So hold on, little darling. Let's paint the streets of Harlem I'll pick you up and let you go Before you even know Before you even know Toe to toe with thunder I'll stand my ground and fight I thank the Lord for all I've got it's time to face the night And as I take my journey I'll let you be the judge And did I give you everything Before I close the door Before I close the door So hold on Paint the streets of Harlem I'll pick you up and let you go Before you even know Before you even know Before you even know Alright, uh, I'm Reese and I'm playing David in One Year Later. Uh, the shoot so far is going great, it's going really good, it's been fun. And I'm really pleased with how the first couple of scenes have gone, so I'm excited for the rest of it. Uh, hello, Mark Wood played Stephen uh, McDonald. Uh, he's only really kind of find out his name later on. Uh, it's McDonald. Anyway, 
Hi, no, I'm thoroughly enjoying this. Uh, it's the second day, two day shoot. It's Sunday. Uh, it's been pretty cold in Glasgow. Those of you who've been in Glasgow before will probably know that. Those of you who haven't, will probably know that as well. But uh, I know, just, I think for me, when I first read the script, um, it was something I knew that I wanted to be involved in. As a, my character, Stephen, um, he's really set a heart, people lucky, easy Aussie, really excitable person. Um, always just up for a laugh, but in a nice way, you know, he's not really malicious in what he does. Um, his relationship with his brother David is just one that's like really loving, really caring. There's not that much of an age gap between them, you know, maybe three or four years. Pearson, I'm playing Katie in One Year Later um, and I am freezing cold right now because we've just finished filming the wedding scenes outside that's why I'm wearing two coats I've got a hot water bottle on my lap and numerous people running in and out trying to get me warm coats but it's cold in Scotland so yeah um, I immediately loved the script I just I, it was really nice to just have a refreshing nice script and um, the characters are just normal people and Although it's incredibly moving and tragic, it's still just quite sweet and um, there is really a happy ending. So um, yeah, I just really fell in love with it. I've had an amazing time and I'm just annoyed that I haven't got to see more of Glasgow because I've never been here before, so I'll have to come back. Yeah, yeah, yeah.